Welcome to 10 minute lectures in computer science. In this lecture, let us learn about what is canonical cover and how to compute canonical cover for a set of functional dependencies using an example. A canonical cover or minimal cover, usually referred as FC, for a set of functional dependencies F is a minimal set of functional dependencies that are further irreducible and are equivalent to f. Here equivalent means all the functional dependencies of f logically imply all the functional dependencies of f c and vice versa. Look at the example. Here f is the given set of functional dependencies and f c is its minimal cover. You can observe that the functional dependencies a gives c of f is eliminated in f c as redundant functional dependency because C transitively dependent on A and this can be inferred from FD's A gives B and B gives C. Minimal cover for a set of functional dependencies F can be computed using three simple steps. Step one insists on reducing the right hand side of all functional dependencies into singleton attribute. This can be achieved using simple decomposition rule. Step 2 removes extraneous attributes if any. Extraneous attributes are simply redundant attributes which can be inferred from other attributes that are available in the left hand side of same functional dependency. Finally in step 3 we eliminate the functional dependencies that are redundant. We shall see more on each step with an example. In step 1, we decompose the functional dependency that has more than one attribute in its right hand side in order to have exactly one attribute. Let us compute the minimal cover for the set F given here. Among the functional dependencies given here, only the functional dependency A gives BC has more than one attribute in its right hand side. By applying decomposition rule, we can decompose this functional dependency into the FDs A determines B and A determines C. And we need to do this decomposition process for all the functional dependencies that have more than one attribute on the right hand side. Once completed, as a result of step one, we arrived at the set of functional dependencies F1 which will further be used for computing minimal cover. This step is to remove redundant attributes from the left hand side of every functional dependency. To check whether an attribute alpha is redundant in a functional dependency, we compute the closure of left hand side attributes except alpha. If the closure includes alpha, then the attribute alpha is said to be redundant or extraneous in that functional dependency. To proceed, we brought forward the set F1. In this function, set of functional dependencies, we have only the functional dependency AB gives D has more than one attribute on its left hand side. In this functional dependency, there is a possibility that either A or B may be extraneous. To check whether a is extraneous in the functional dependency, we need to find the closure of the rest of the attributes, that is B here. So we find the closure of B, and the closure of B is equal to BC, which does not include the attribute A. Hence, we can conclude that A is not redundant. And also, we need to check whether B is extraneous or not by finding the closure of A. And as a result, A closure includes the attribute B. Hence, we can conclude that B is extraneous. As a result, we remove B from functional dependency AB determines D and set F1 becomes F2 as shown here. And this will be taken forward for the Step 3. Step 3 is to identify and remove any redundant functional dependencies. 
For instance, to check whether a functional dependency x determines y is redundant in a set of functional dependencies f, we first exclude the functional dependency from f to form another set of functional dependencies f dash. That is, f dash is without the given functional dependency. Then we find the closure of left hand side attribute using only f dash. If suppose x, the closure includes the right hand side attribute, then we would say that the given functional dependency is redundant. Otherwise, not. Let us now check whether the, there are any redundant functional dependencies for our set F2, which we derived in step 2. We check uh, whether the functional dependency A determines B is redundant or not. To do this, we have to first exclude the functional dependency from F2. Then we get F2 dash with functional dependencies A determines C, B determines C, and A determines D. Now we find the closure of left hand side attribute that is A using only F2 dash. So if I know A, I know C through this functional dependency, and if I know A, I know D through the functional dependency A determines D. Hence, the result of A plus is equal to ACD. And this does not consist of the right hand side attribute B. Hence, we can conclude that the functional dependency A determines B is not redundant. Hence, we cannot exclude this from F2. Now, let us take uh, the second functional dependency A determines C and check uh, whether a determines C is redundant or not. As usual, we exclude A determines C from F2 and we find the closure for left hand side attribute A, it is A plus, using F2 dash alone. And as per F2 dash, if I know A, I know B, if I know B, I know C, so I know A, B, C, and as well as I know D. So A plus is equal to A, B, C, D, which includes all the attributes from that relation as well as the right hand side attribute of A determines C is included here. Hence, we can conclude that the, the functional dependency A determines C is redundant. Hence, it can be excluded from the F2 and we can derive a new set of functional dependency F3 to proceed further. We removed the functional dependency A determines C as it was redundant and we got a, a set of functional dependencies F3. Now let us check whether B determines C is redundant or not. We exclude B determines C from F3. We get F3 dash with only two functional dependencies. Now let us find the closure for left hand side attribute that's B using F3 dash. And there are no functional dependencies in F3 dash, which has B on the left hand side. Hence, just by the reflexivity rule, B plus includes only B. So we can conclude that B gives C is not redundant. And let us move on to the next functional dependency, A gives D. To check whether A gives D is redundant, we exclude A gives D from F3 and we find the closure for A, which include A, B, C, not D. Hence, we can conclude that A determines D is not redundant as well. We have finished with all the functional dependencies of set F3. Also, we cannot further reduce F3 as because none of the functional dependencies of F3 is redundant. At this stage, we conclude that the minimal cover for given F is F3. F3 can be further written as A determines BD and B determines C after applying union rule for functional dependencies A gives B and A gives D. Now we can say that F logically implies F3 and F3 logically implies F. That is, the functional dependencies of F can be inferred using FDs 
of F3 and vice versa. In this lecture, we learn about how to compute a minimal cover for given set of functional dependencies. Thank you.